A lot of people use airsoft guns and air rifles both professionally and recreationally. Uh, and Hannah is checking out a, a local company that makes them, learning about the safety and production behind uh, some of the country's leading air guns. Again, at a Crossman Corporation this morning in Bloomfield. Good morning. Good morning. I'm kind of at their, their Hall of Fame of all of their guns over the years, starting back the first one really in the 1920s. But Jennifer, you say that the models haven't changed that much. It's really the way that you guys make them. Well, the underlying technology for air guns is the same, right? The air gets the pellet out. But we have been continually respecting our past, and we love to look at our old guns for inspiration, even as we kind of reinvent the way we do things. So you're seeing some of the earlier models, one of our early 760s, which we talked about. And the air technology at that time was mostly from a manual pump. But we've found other ways to deliver it. We have pistols that use CO2 cartridges. And we've taken it through, as we said, and showed you the Marauder line, where now we have air-filled tanks that can deliver the air at a really high pressure. So we pride ourselves, again, on always remembering our history and heritage, but finding ways to do it new and better. So we've um, showcased a lot of the guns here. Yeah. I want to show you, and these actually. Are some of your, these are some of your newer ones. I mean, just looking at them, they look different, you know, but they do the same job. Yes, much. exactly. Just more powerfully. So these are some of our um, PCP, the uh, air and CO2 models. We've got replica um, pistols that people can use for target shooting in their backyard. And then if we come all the way up here, we can show you kind of where we have come. Yeah, it is, it's, it's neat to see kind of how old school they do look, but, mm -hmm. they, uh, but they still... I mean, 1923, this was, this was basically your first That was the first one. model that was ever made, and it was inspired by bicycle technology, and no that the way. air was compressed through a little pump um, that went in and out of the tube at the end. So as you can see, that was the origins, but we've come a long way, and now we've got several of our new guns that have the compressed air technology. So I'll just show you these real quick. This is our yeah, Challenger. Um, we're very excited about this because we work with the Marine Corps JROTC. So this is the preferred air rifle of the JROTC target shooting teams. Wow. Um, and we dominate them, and they, in fact, just won a national championship last week. The top three shooters were all shooting challengers. Wow. So, so it, show, it shows just what they can be used for mm -hmm. in so many different purposes. And then this is our big boar That's bulldog. That's a pretty big gun. <laughs> so this is our most powerful hunting rifle, which is brand new. Um, and we just launched this. It's enjoying great success. In some of the states where you can use it for large game legally, people use it to hunt white-tailed deer and other large game. We have a couple of um, animals that we had a hunter go out in Africa with this gun and take some rather large animals <laughs> with this gun as well. Wow. It's amazing. And again, all of this is used very safely. <laughs> uh, and, but it's amazing the power that, you know, the pellet gun can have. Yes, definitely. But, you know, we always teach um, safety to be first. So we teach people to treat pellet guns as if they were firearms and use all the same safety techniques that you would use. So, again, that's why they are a safer alternative to firearms, and they're also a great first introduction for people who are coming into the shooting sports. But, yes, always treat it as if it's yeah. a real firearm. And you said before you worked here you had never touched a gun, and now you... you my, my first experience shooting anything was a 760 in the indoor range, which I think we're going to see later, um, on my job interview. And that's when I knew. <laughs> Your job interview. That's when I we knew it was going to be a fun job. A wow. <laughs> yep. Amazing. And real quick note, just like to let you know, she is a University of Illinois graduate. I went to the University of Illinois, so shout out. That's pretty cool. We were just chatting uh, about Crossman. She said... Yeah, I'm from Illinois, and uh, I said, wait a minute, I went to school out there, University of Illinois graduate, so you never know where you'll meet somebody. Pretty cool, right out it's here a in, small world. in Rochester, <laughs> New York. So let's ask back to you guys in the studio. I'm going to be in the range in just a little bit, show you how it works. How cool is that? We do not have a 13-wham range. We used to have a bowling alley here, but no True. range.